Welcome back to the lab. Welcome back to EE for everyone. You just clicked on a video about making cables. I hate to break it to you, but this video is probably going to be a waste of your time. We're not even making interesting cables. We're making like bad regular cables. Well, since the boards are still in transit, we're both just kind of here staring at one another. I mean, neither of us are really getting any younger here. Well, I suppose we may as well just get on with it. We're making a couple cables that we're about to use with the motor series board. These boards that we're about to assemble in the coming videos. These are going to use a 6P4C connector. I think it's an RJ12. Yeah, nothing special. I've come to realize that the default cable configuration for this style of cable is a crossover. Pin one and four are swapped on either end. Um, yeah, our boards are designed for straight through though, so we're going to be making some straight through cables out of this single 100 foot crossover cable today. A straight through cable will connect the same pin to the same pin from one board to the next, so one end to the other is the same pin out. This is the opposite of that. It's important that we get that right because reversing conductors will lead to applying reverse voltage from one to the next prototype board. That wouldn't be very good. I'm making these cables and we're making them about a foot long. If you'd like us to measure the parasitic elements of this cable, as opposed to the one that we measured in the past, I suppose I can do that. This is all measured on the LCR meter, DE5000, which is pretty cool stuff. At any rate, we only need a couple of these cables to really get the project done. I only need two or three, but it would be nice to have a couple more. I guess I'll just have to put these in the old copy o -matic. make a couple more. And would you look at that? We're all done. Between you and me, this video was a little bit of filler. I'm trying to be good at releasing a video every week. Keeps me honest. Make sure that I actually keep this project moving along. But the reality is that engineering, even fun engineering like this, has some pretty boring sections of work. Sometimes, one just needs to grind through and get something done. And sometimes that grinding doesn't leave a lot of story to share. Crimping cables is one of those times. I know this video is a little different than our usual style, but I've got to say, this certainly has made the experience of making cables a little more interesting for me. I don't mind these little modular jacks. If you're wondering what's next for EE for everyone, your patience will be rewarded. I have a couple PCBs to assemble. You can expect a live stream coming sometime soon. I also have some software to write, and I'm sure we'll talk about that too. When I get the chance to test the hardware and software together, I'm sure we'll learn a whole lot and have some things to talk about. You know, things I could have done better, things I might do differently if we were to do this project again, that sort of stuff. After that, we're gonna get into some real nitty gritty stuff. I want to demonstrate some motor control applications like lead screws, robotic arms. I want to get a chorus of different motor types working together. It would be so cool to see this system come to life and I think it'll make for some very interesting videos. What comes next after the motor series? Well, I have about 15 different ideas. If you want to throw a couple more ideas into the hat, uh, leave a comment of what you think we should do next. What problems do you think that we can solve together? This community is shaping up to be pretty cool. The more I get to know about you all, the more I start to wonder about why you're all in my house. 
I hope you enjoyed this little whatever this is, and I can't wait to share the rest of this motor control project with you. Thanks for watching it for everyone, and thank you for staying till the end. Bye.